So we're, yeah, yeah. So we're halfway in the process of bending. I'm making these. Cut out the uh, rectangles. I made a cardboard template to fit the, the actual table base. And then, uh, I marked a line where it transitions from one curve to the other. So then I can bring this in here and do, do this bottom curve. And that goes up to this line. I'm going to flip it over and do the top. So I'm going to that line because that's where the curve changes. Then what I do is keep checking against this one because this is one that I finished and I got in the shape the way I want it. So now I can sort of lay it up here and see if I'm getting the right shape. And see, I still got to add some curve here, but I don't want to go all the way in here anymore because this is nearly flat where it transitions. So I need it a little more in this area. So I'm not going to go past here. That looks about right. Let's see. Close. Pretty close, and it, it, I found it doesn't have to be perfect. I can flex it a little bit once we trim the end off. It'll fit right on here. Like that. That's awesome. You've already got one almost. Got these tacked in. I still have to finish those welds. Silicon bronze. Ever do. My new favorite. Yeah, yeah. We're making Christmas decorations out of these babies. Come and get them for sale on giftarkstudios.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it as hard or harder than you were expecting it to be? Um, it is about what I expected. I knew it was going to be a tedious job and trying to get it to balance in the low part of this curved, you know, I don't want it to push through, but I don't want it to be sitting too far out because I want a little bit of a groove to put a weld in. So I'm trying to get them to set in deep, but not go through. So I have to be real careful about just shaving off just the right amount. And I don't want to leave too big a gap here that I won't be able to fill it. Cause now I'm my own, my, my own fitter now. I can't <laughs> complain. <laughs> Was any of the sheet rock, uh, sheet metal in? Sheet um, you had you had <laughs> you had just started uh, the welding process. So how'd all that go, and how'd it turn out? All right. So what I found out was it's, uh, fit up was really I had to be really finicky because the the gaps that I did leave, some of them were like approaching an eighth of an inch, and that was a pain in the butt to dig weld across that when you have a really thick rod and a really thin sheet metal. But the silicon bronze makes it a little easier. And so there was a little bit of cussing and swearing, but mostly it went as planned. Um, it's just a few spots. And then I had a few tacks pop because of the pressure when the heat, uh, I would be welding over here and it would just go bah! And I, I knew a tack popped somewhere. And, and usually they would just crack because of the forces and the silicon bronze isn't that, isn't quite as strong as steel. It looks beautiful though. Anyway, um, it, it mostly went really well. Like it, it, it went as planned. So you have two matching bases. What's next? Right. So now on top of here, there was a plate with studs. And then uh, in the frame that I've got, I don't know if you got the frame no. in any of this. I'll, I'll bring it over. So what I've got to do, so this is the granite will have an eight inch overhang all the way around. 
and I talked to the uh, the countertop guys at the uh, cabinet shop that's putting this in, um, and they said that would be fine. I wasn't sure about that much overhang, but it's an inch and a quarter thick granite, and these are so these these plates with the studs will be mounted, will be welded to the legs. Oh. These angle pieces are gonna be welded to the frame, and these are gonna be welded to the top of the legs uh, with the studs. So I have to trim these just a little bit to fit in this space, but um, these will be in here, and you'll be able to reach in and get those bolts out. So it's final assembly. Yeah, so final assembly. Let's uh, hopefully everything works according to plan. It has so far, so I'm pretty confident. Two seconds later. I think I, I actually just realized that something might be a problem. You can't get a wrench in that space. So I'll have to get a wrench that goes up and over a little. Yeah, you just That's, make a custom yeah. wrench. Yeah. <laughs> you can yeah. include it with the kit like right. IKEA. <laughs> An offset wrench. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. I'll, I'll have to include one. Well, that'll be good for the, uh, the uh, adjustable legs too. Bonus. That just happened. You guys saw that happen <laughs> in this head right here. That's how you turn something bad into something good. Yeah. <laughs> you can do this. But no, honestly, once couldn't. this thing goes together, it's probably never going to come apart. No. <laughs> Unless they have to redo the patio or something, I don't think it's going to move. No. So it would be once in a blue moon they have to get those. So it just makes it easier to transport, and that's really yeah, it. Yeah, because otherwise, it would be, I can barely pick this piece up. It would be a real pain. It's down in the backyard, down some stairs. They have a really steep, hilly property. So hopefully uh, we can go over there and see it when it's done. Yes. How much do those weigh? I picked one up. I bet they're like a bag of sand. They're like 80 pounds each or something. Not bad. Maybe 100. I don't know. I, I picked one up and carried them over there. They're, You're pretty strong though. They're pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> this is about the same. It's like 80 pounds and then the stretcher is another 20 or 30. It's so, still significantly it's like less than the top. 400 pounds, maybe total. Yeah. Did I do that math wrong? I don't know. Maybe 300 pounds. We'll add it up on screen as you're talking. <laughs> the floating numbers. <laughs> All right. All right. So we'll cut to a time lapse. Here we go. So yeah, first impressions. Yeah, completely satisfied. I am kind of surprised that nothing so far has really been terribly gone wrong. Like everything's, yeah, there's someone, there's someone. <laughs> so um, you can see the last thing to connect is this plate to the top of the leg. And right now I'm just making sure everything is lined up and I got an inch and three quarter overhang around all the way around the plate overhanging this one here so uh i don't know i mean it just looks like it's gonna be smooth sailing here i just gotta tack this in and i think i'll use my tig welder so i don't get any spatter on this and then uh once i get it tacked in i can take it all back apart weld that out and then it's just clean up and take it to the powder coating Are you done? I thought I'd be done tomorrow, but I'm done Thursday, a day ahead. <laughs> a day ahead of the week late schedule that I <laughs> <laughs> But really there's no there's no late. It's it's mine. I mean considering how prototypish this was. Yeah, five weeks. Not bad. Yeah. I'm totally happy. That's awesome. So now it's a little cleanup. Yay! 
clean up and then off to powder coat. Hey guys, Tay here. Real quick, I want to explain what powder coating is. So powder coating is a form of finishing where it, it usually is only used for metal. They apply a positive charge to the metal and a negative charge to a gun that sprays powder, a powdered paint that sticks to the metal. They coat it all up and then they put it in an oven and they bake that finish on. What that does is it makes the finish super durable really wear resistant, uh, much more durable than normal paint. So that's the kind of finish that Steve had applied on this table. And so we'll get back to the video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Heinzel table V1. Yeah. You want one built, come see this guy. You can still see all the welds. Yeah. That's awesome. I know, it looks good. I'm happy with it. Heck yeah. What's up, man? Oh, this is awesome. But look, you can, it, it's what I thought. Like the sandblaster took some of that out. It did erode some I of the bronze. Oh so, yeah. But no. it's okay. It's not, it doesn't look terrible. You can see a few lines across it, but. Mm-hmm. That's fine though. I oh, think it's okay. This is smooth. So excited about the table. <laughs> cool. Yeah, the stretcher goes in there. Big moment, assembly time. Just like you planned it. This thing goes together better than most build it yourself furniture you can get. <laughs> Just solder furniture from, from like Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Insert Swedish big box brand name here. Yep. There's only one, so. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Take a but, guess. But they can't sue me now. Yeah. That'll do it. If it weighs 600 pounds, that makes 0.5% of it silicon bronze. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get the top piece? Yeah, let's see if it fits. <laughs> like a glove. Soft landing. Like a glove. Look at that. So I don't know if we've made this clear in the video yet, but this is going to hold a 600 pound granite top which is part of the reason for the bomb shelter spec <laughs> build. So what I was doing. So am I. Damn right. That's why you change shirts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not because everything else is dirty, right? <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> 